The Angara rocket family is a league of spacecrafts cooked up by the brilliant minds at the Khrunichev State Research and Production Space Center in Moscow. These powerful rockets are built to heave around all sorts of cargo, from 3,800 kilograms to a staggering 37.5 tons, into low Earth orbit. In fact, they're even set to replace the Proton-M rockets, with only the Soyuz 2 variants sticking around. Let's take a peek at the Angara family of carriers. Angara 1.2 is a space rocket that can carry up to 3.5 tons of gear into low orbit. Sadly, it was scrapped because it overlapped with the Soyuz 2.1V, which can also haul the same amount of weight. The Angara 3, also known as a 3M or 3P or 3.2, had the impressive ability to launch 4 to 15 tons of cargo into low Earth orbit. Sadly, its production has been halted as of late. The Angara 5 can lift an incredible 24.5 tons of payload into low Earth orbit. And the Angara 5M, kicking it up another notch with a whopping 27.5 ton capacity. The Angara 5P rocket is two stages of epicness, tailor-made for crewed missions. With reduced operational pressure and power, it's a top pick for the safety savvy. And it's no lightweight either. This bad boy can heave an 18 metric ton spacecraft into low Earth orbit like it's no biggie. Watch out, by 2030, the Angara 5P rocket might just be the Russian primary human spaceflight launch vehicle. Now get ready to blast off with these heavy-duty space rockets. Say hello to Angara 5V, capable of hurling 37.5 tons of cargo into low Earth orbit. And then there's Angara 5MV, boasting a reusable stage for even more cosmic adventures. Now for the future projects. Buckle up for some mind-blowing space talk. Get ready for the Angara 7, the heavyweight champ of space vehicles with its mighty 1,133-ton frame, and the power to haul 35 tons over 200 kilometers. While there's no current plan to develop this beast, it's no surprise, the Angara 7 needs an even bigger core to carry extra propellant and a flashy hydrogen-powered engine, which is still in the works. Plus, it'll need a whole new launch pad to take off. Keep your eyes on the skies, folks. Back in 2005, Khrunichev Center put forward the Angara 100, a bulky launch vehicle designed to help NASA's vision for space exploration take flight. The rocket would pack four boosters, each amped by RD-170 engines, a core stage juiced by RD-180 engines, and a cool cryogenic upper stage charged by a souped-up Energia RD-120 engine called the RD-122. And if you thought that was impressive, get this, it could carry over 100 tons into low Earth orbit. And now the most exciting rocket yet to come. Introducing Bakel, the space-savvy, reusable URM-1 booster by Khrunichev and NPO Malnia. Fitted with wings, landing gear, an empennage, an attitude control actuator, and a return flight engine, Bakel can zip back to an airfield once its mission is complete. Think of it as the eco-friendly, next-gen space taxi. The power of modularity. The Angara rocket is like a giant Lego set, with a modular design that lets you snap together the pieces in different ways. Plus, it runs on eco-friendly fuel made from a mix of kerosene and liquid oxygen. The new type of propellant is less toxic and produces fewer emissions than traditional fuels. This makes the Angara rockets a good choice for launching payloads into sensitive orbits, such as those containing humans or delicate scientific instruments. Now let's crack the code of configuration. The Angara launch vehicles come in different flavors, each with a unique mix of universal rocket modules or the URMs. URMs, available in URM1 and URM2 varieties, are responsible for powering the different stages of the launch. The number of URM1s in the first stage dictates how much weight each vehicle can carry into space. The URM1 blasts off with a liquid jet engine called RD-191, while URM2 goes soon with the RD-0124A engine. Let's talk about the mighty RD-191 engine. The Angara rocket's superhero strength comes from the mighty RD-191 engine, crafted by the masterminds at NPO Energamash. This engine will be later replaced by the RD-191M. These rocket wizards named the engine after Academician VP, Glushko, and cooked it up with the RD-170 engine in the Soviet Energia spacecraft, making it a force to be reckoned with. Launching into orbit twice, once in 1987 and again in 1988, this engine was specifically made to power up the Angara rocket. Now let's talk about the other mighty RD-0124A engine. Behold the mighty RD-0124A engine, crafted by the Chemical Automatics Design Bureau in Voronezh. As a fun fact, this bureau now operates under the NPO Energamesh umbrella. And now for the thrilling world of hydrogen engines. Khrunichev's factory in Moscow is gearing up to test models and flying equipment for the oxygen-hydrogen third stage of the Angara 5V rocket. Meanwhile, the Vostochny Cosmodrome is buzzing with the creation of special tools for the fueling process of this carrier rocket. With sights set on the International Space Station, Russia is constructing the third stage of the Angara 5 rocket to transport vital supplies. Now let's talk about the competition. 
The United States has Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets by SpaceX, Delta IV Heavy rocket, Atlas V rocket and Vulcan rocket by the United Launch Alliance. China competes with Long March 5th rocket, Long March 7th rocket and Long March 8th rocket. Europe has Ariane 6 rocket and the Vega C rocket. And finally, Japan has the H-3 rocket. These rockets are all comparable to the Angara rocket family in terms of payload capacity and launch capabilities. They are also all commercially available, which means that customers have a choice of which rocket to use for their mission. The Angara rocket family faces some stiff competition from these other rockets, but it also has some advantages. For example, the Angara rockets are designed to be very versatile, and they can be configured to meet the specific needs of each mission. They are also environmentally friendly, using a new type of propellant that is less toxic and produces fewer emissions than traditional fuels. Ultimately, the best rocket for a particular mission will depend on a variety of factors, including payload requirements, cost, and schedule. The Angara rocket family is a competitive option in the global launch market, and it is likely to continue to be an important player for many years to come. Overall, the Angara rocket family is a significant improvement over Russia's previous generation of rockets. It is more versatile, reliable, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. The Angara rockets are expected to play a major role in Russia's space program for many years to come.